stars are out in the Cayman Islands tonight to help promote the Film Commission, which could create international tourism attention as well as local jobs. The Cayman Islands Film Commission is going to create some new opportunities for the economy in Cayman. The film industry is one of the most resilient industries in the world, so even during these very difficult economic times, we see that the film industry is still very robust and is still flourishing. So we're hoping that, that this event will help to bring awareness to the Cayman Islands Film Commission. We have um, some people here from, from our various production companies, directors, producers, publicists, a couple of actors. The point we want to get across is that the people who are involved in this filming, whether it's a movie, a commercial or a documentary, they're coming to Cayman, they're experiencing what we have to offer here, and they're telling the world about that. This has been a long-term process. Um, a lot of creative energy has been going into it. It's coming together right now. Um, it's going to be a great new industry for the Cayman Islands, something that will attract um, income and wealth and jobs from productions that come here to utilize our beautiful setting. Every time I come here I have a great time, the people here are just so nice and um, I just want to, you know, I want to do something because I'm in the entertainment industry, I want to do something that in my industry that could come down here and help out with the local people. I'm developing like the, the locations library just so people who have never been here before, have no idea where the Cayman Islands are, they can see what, what there is to offer here. Like there's, It's more than just sandy, white sandy beaches. We have three beautiful islands here and so everything from movies to documentaries to, to commercials we're hoping to attract here. And that's going to present new opportunities for the economy. I mean, people are going to, to be able to benefit from, from, the, from the transportation sector to the hotel sector, retailers, just about everybody will have an opportunity to benefit from that. The creative class shows up, they do bring growth, economic growth, uh, cultural growth. We're not all just, you know, uh, strange, weird people from, from another planet who come to make movies. We work very hard at what we do. All you got to do is, is say to, you know, some movie star, want to go spend six weeks in the Caymans? You know, make a movie. Plus, I think the crews and the, the hospitality and the climate are all in, uh, conducive to, uh, to making films year-round. Can't do that in New York. When you have the opportunity to say, yeah, I want to shoot here, 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 or here, and if you happen to, if, if a film location, you know, wants, you know, a Caribbean type of feeling, and you want that type of feeling, and you have the opportunity to do it, you go, I want to be here. I had never seen this, this is so beautiful. I had never been here. I, I heard it has wonderful wildlife here, and I'm a big animal nut. I mean, I don't know, I'm even looking at, thinking of like if I could buy something here, so I really, um, I, I'm, uh, that's how much I like it. I could just audition right here, right here in town. In the U.S., over the last seven years, 47 states have enacted incentive programs to bring the runaway production from Canada down to the U.S. And in the Caribbean, you've got Puerto Rico, of course. The Dominican is looking to have a program. And then when I heard from Jason Phelps that you're doing it here, you can be very, very competitive. You've got a lot more to offer here than Puerto Rico. You've got the friendliness of the people, the hospitality. You've got the English language. We think it's mandatory that any producer that comes in contributes into a workforce development program. If we can't create education and jobs, it's not worth having it. What do you, what, are you just doing it to rub elbows with Hollywood? No, the purpose is to have a sustainable st economic stimulus, especially in this economic environment. Films are going to be made. It's up to Hollywood and the independence of where to go, where to film, where do I get a good bang for my buck. So, but part of that is they also have to invest in the infrastructure so two years from now they can have a hundred percent crew instead of maybe only half the crew. Now we know that we do have some local talent, some local resources that can be drawn upon for, for film productions. But what we want to see over the next few years is, is, is building that capacity locally so that more and more of our local talent and resources can become involved in this industry and therefore capitalize on the films that do come here. For now it's a slow process of just getting everybody understanding what's going to go on, how they can uh, help out and be a part of this. And in a few years time we'll see the benefits really accruing to the Cayman Islands. I'm a producer in, uh, in L.A. As well as, uh, uh, as well as an actor, so uh, you know, I have uh, one, two, three, four films in development right now. Um, one of them uh, is, a, uh, is an ocean film, so if we ever got that darn thing produced up by Disney, then uh, this would be a good spot to bring it. Well, I'm actually doing one with Jason and Justin that uh, takes place underwater, above water, on the islands. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, I have another uh, project about uh, Captain Hook. He is a young man that would certainly suited, be suited to shoot in the Caymans. The goal is to eventually attract projects that focus on more than just sea or pirates, but all aspects of life. 